I've always loved geography. And I think that's the reason I'm a geologist today. I had a knack for places, knowing locations, and my mother raised me, and there was never an option that I would not go to college. She had a profound influence. I was accepted to study geology at the University of Ife in Ileife, Nigeria. The name has changed to Obafemi Awolowo University. I tried to leave in my freshman year because everyone said it wasn't for women. Because there were just four girls in my class at the time and I stuck with it and I do not regret it. You learn to be very accommodating and learn to be open and learn how to work with people who are different from you. Geosciences promotes that. Sometimes you are sleeping in tents for weeks and you have to learn how to share. So it's, um, it's, it's, it's quite unique in that respect. It was its own campus modeled after Stanford University, nestled against three hills. And the, the, the city itself, the city of Ileife, was maybe about 10 kilometers away. We did everything on campus. It was self-sufficient. And the students, you know, there's this bond that we all developed. So I worked with Shell, and after one year, I went back to University of Ife for my master's. And I was able to fund my education through graduate assistantship and after two years I stayed on as an assistant lecturer for one year before I got the Commonwealth Scholarship to Cambridge University. It was while I was leaving for Cambridge my mother passed away and she actually passed away the day I went to tell her I was leaving for Cambridge. I left the country two and a half weeks after she passed away and I was late arriving in Cambridge. Personally, it was very difficult, but it was, like I said, I had the support I needed. When my father passed away, the university actually gave me time off. But resilience is very, very important. And we find that women tend to be less resilient, in, especially in academia. Uh, we get a lot of rejections in many areas, both men and women. Because as a professor who is keen on research, as I am, I go for funding, research funding all the time. The success rate is so pitiful, sometimes less than 8%. You can imagine, I'm usually one of the 92% all the time who gets rejection letters. But what we found, because I serve on a lot of research panels for National Science Foundation, the male professors come back all the time. The female professors give up. They give up after maybe two or three tries. These male professors keep going six, seven times until they get funding. Resilience is very, very important. Well, when I arrived in Rolla, it was um, a shock to a lot of people because I was the first female black professor at the then UMR. And the students didn't know what to do with me. A lot of my colleagues did not know what to do with me because they were not used to having a black woman sitting in the same room with them. And for the students, it was just, it was, um, it was a shock. But I'll tell you one thing, the, my chair of the department, who happened to be Dr. Richard Hagney, was on my side. And whenever I ran into problems with the students, he was always there to support me. This university attracts some of the best students, especially from Missouri. And then we have students from other states who actually select to come to s and because of their reputation. 
we have just a, a, a very good cadre of students. Um, at the same time, you have those who come and they are not sure why they are in school. You learn how to work with those ones also. But I tell you, we've, I've had very good experience with a lot of the students who come here. Um, when you have good students, I think it makes your job as a professor easier. So I'm, I'm Dr. Franca, and I look forward to having you in my class. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me.